On Wednesday, the Ontario Supreme Court granted Yukon government's application to place mining company Victoria Gold into a receivership. Government officials say it's the best course of action to remediate the company's Eagle Gold mine site. This legal action gives us a pathway to use the assets of the company responsible for the environmental damage to pay for the costs of addressing that damage. The mine is located on the traditional territory of the First Nation of Nacho Nayaktan. In June, the mine's heap leach facility experienced an equipment failure, causing cyanide-laced ore and other chemicals to be released into the surrounding environment. The company has since failed to carry out some of the territory's mining inspector's directions and address environmental and safety concerns, prompting the government to file the receivership. The mine's receiver, Price Waterhouse Coopers, will now take control of the company's assets, including the mine. The receivership provides the framework and the opportunity we need to advance the critical work that must be done immediately in terms of environmental protection and remediation. Facing mounting financial pressures, CEO John McConnell told the CBC on Thursday the company's board has stepped down. But the government isn't calling it quits on the mine site. That's because mining plays a major part in the territory's economy. We still hold out hope that mining can occur at this site, that there can be um, mitigation to return the site to a viable uh, mine. Officials say they don't yet know when remediation work will be completed. Sarah Connors, APTN National News, Whitehorse.